Host H, welcome back to our history channel. In today's video, we will embark on a fascinating journey to explore the creation of England. From ancient kingdoms to political alliances, this story is filled with intrigue and transformation. So, grab a cup of tea and let's dive into the rich history. England's origins can be traced back to the early medieval period, around the 5th and 6th centuries AD when the island of Great Britain was inhabited by various Celtic tribes. However, our story truly begins with the arrival of the Anglo-Saxons. In the 5th century AD, Germanic tribes known as the Anglo-Saxons, including the Angles, Saxons, and Jutes, migrated from present-day Germany and Denmark to Britain. They gradually established a number of independent kingdoms across the island. These kingdoms, such as Wessex, Mercia, Northumbria, and East Anglia existed for several centuries, often engaged in conflicts and power struggles. However, their common Anglo-Saxon culture and language laid the foundation for a unified identity. Transition to Viking shops in the 8th and 9th centuries. England faced invasions by Viking warriors from Scandinavia, primarily from Denmark and Norway. The Vikings known for their seafaring prowess, established their own settlements and exerted influence over the existing Anglo-Saxon kingdoms. Map shows Viking-controlled regions over time. The Vikings and the Anglo-Saxons intermingled, leading to cultural exchanges and the emergence of a hybrid culture. However, this Viking period brought chaos and political instability to the region. Transition to the Battle of Hastings. The next crucial event in the formation of England was the Norman Conquest in 1066. Duke William of Normandy, also known as William the Conqueror, invaded England and defeated the Anglo-Saxon king, Harold II, in the famous Battle of Hastings. Animated battle scene with the Norman victory. William the Conqueror established Norman rule over England, which brought about significant political and social changes. The Normans introduced feudalism, built castles, and replaced the Anglo-Saxon aristocracy with Norman nobles. Transition to King John and Magna Carta. H. Fast forward to the 13th century, we encounter King John, whose tyrannical rule ignited discontent among the English nobles. This eventually led to the signing of the Magna Carta in 1215, a groundbreaking document that limited the king's power and estably Visuals of the Magna Carta The Magna Carta laid the foundation for the concept of individual rights and the rule of law, which continues to shape English governance to this day. Transition to Tudor dynasty in the 15th century. The Wars of the Roses brought about another significant turning point in English history. The conflict between two rival branches of the Plantagenet dynasty, the House of Lancaster and the House of York, culminated in the victory of Henry Tudor. Visuals of Tudor Monarchs H. The Tudor dynasty brought stability and prosperity to England. Henry VIII, the most renowned Tudor monarch, oversaw the English Reformation and established the Church of England, severing ties with the Catholic Church in Rome. 